Come chat with me. New York's number one Caribbean lifestyle magazine. Jamaica is a nice place to live. We have everything, the sunshine, the rivers, and the good Ray and Navy rum. Come chat with me. Borough Freedom Fighter, the New York premiere, presented by the African Diaspora International Flame Festival. Keeping the fire ablaze in the mind, body, and soul as Fire Blaze presents his EP, Black River to the World. Jerk Chicken Pillard, with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson. Whatever salad, give me some iceberg lettuce. Groom Success Inc. is a social enterprise that develops brands that are committed to enhancing the lives of men of color across the globe. We shine the spotlight on its founder and CEO, Jeff Linder, on this week's Community Spotlight. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. The Errol Barrow Jackie drama, Barrow, Freedom Fighter, tells the story of Errol Walton Barrow, who successfully led Barbados to the independence on November 30th, 1966, after more than 300 years as a British colony. It gives me great pleasure to be the patron of this historic event, the New York premiere of the film Errol Barrow, Freedom Fighter. Allow me to offer congratulations to the producers Dave and Marcy Weeks for their vision, concept, and determination to bring to the screen aspects of the life of the man, His Excellent Errol Walton Barrow, who in a very short period of time brought Barbados to independence. We are just beginning to understand the medium of film and the power of the medium of film. So we are we, we are we're making progress and it's taking some time the other end of that stick is the cost factor it's extremely costly to make films um in a period and the concept of investing in films and putting money behind a film is like what's that i learned so much um researching and, and, and just dropping into this character um, because he's a man who had so much integrity dignity, hope, respect, and he had so much respect for himself that, you know, other people had to respect him, you know, and he, he, he's such a great example for all of us. Um, no matter what, you know, the circumstances, people tell him, you know, that, you know, you can't, he was like, watch me. Timing is perfect because we really need to have a project like this, uh, a movie like this, that shows what a real leader, you know, looks like, you know? You know, uh, the, the, the timing couldn't be better, and so I pray to God that we get the um, distribution and, and that we can get this in theaters all across the world. What can you do for a man who is living at subsistence level after you have profited? I want to know what kind of mirror image do you have of yourself. This is what I am concerned about. Four years ago, I was in Canada, actually, um, promoting another film that we have called Chrissy. And uh, it's a children's film. And while I was there, I saw a book at our Consul General's home on, um, on Errol Barrow. And uh, first of all, I didn't even know there was a book written on him. And I read the book. And I, I was just totally, I was so inspired, you know. And I found myself, I was there for five days and I read it a second time. And I told my husband, Dave, about the book and I said, you know what, this would be so wonderful to put in a film so that our young people, so that children, young people, you know, in the schools in Barbados and throughout the Caribbean would be inspired by this man's life. I loved Errol Barrow. After my parents, it was the dipper. And uh, growing up on the bar, as Nadia said, I'm strong, confident. I go anywhere in the world, steer you down. I'm Barbadian. I grew up under the bar. 
borrows leadership. And I saw a piece in your documentary, I was a young Democrat, and I was at the headquarters that night, Barra lost, and uh, it, it was so sad. But what Barra taught us was we could achieve, we had the strength and the knowledge and the perseverance, and it didn't matter that we were black, we were proud, we were fierce, we were independent, and we were free. So when I came to America, I was fierce, proud, independent, and free. I am an American, a first generation, in fact. Uh, my family is from the diaspora, my father from the Dominican, Dominican Republic, my mother is from Aruba, but Mrs. Barrow was an American. So um, our director felt very comfortable, director and writer and producer, by the way, um, Marsha Weeks, she felt very comfortable asking me to play the role of um, the Honorable Mrs. Barrow because she was actually from Jersey. So, <laughs> so, um, so she called me, uh, Marcia Weeks, and uh, we had met at a film festival a few years prior, and she remembered me and asked if I would be interested in flying to Barbados and playing the role of the First Lady. And I thought, there's nothing in that sentence that's not absolutely perfect. The movie is really about our great leader, uh, Errol Barrow. He was an amazing leader of men. We don't have men like him uh, in leadership very often anymore in any color. So it's exciting to be able to uh, be a part of a film that elevates not only how uh, men of African descent lead, but how men can lead in the world. Um, he is, bar none, one of the finest leaders, I would say, that has walked the planet, and it was a joy to, um, to pretend to play his wife. Fireblaze is known for its positive lyrics, smooth melody, straightforward and realistic approach to his music. He has been on the music scene since 2005, and the fire has been lit ever since. Show them a sign, Jaja, show them a sign. Show them how them we keep... Black River. Black River. Yeah, like, where get the name? How does the name come from Black River? Well, Black River is like, you know, first of all, I'm a birthplace, you know what I mean? See? Yes, yeah, so, you know, we'd have viewed the thing from a birthplace, you know, until now, we say Black River. You know what I mean? You know, a little bit of historical thing. You know, a little bit of personal thing and also I just life, black people, black supremacy, black life. You know me I say black river, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a spiritual thing. Plus, you know, I'm from St. Elizabeth, big up St. Elizabeth, Black River, Bright Place. So couldn't get it a better name. Them a sign, Jaja, show them a sign. Show them how them we keep that bad mind. How free them one and them one free mind. Not for them sell out them so all the time. Music. You know, it's, 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 it's been in me for a while from birth, you know what I mean, but it's been like 2010 I decided to just turn up the fire, wicked, wicked, you know what I'm saying? 2010, yeah. Right, right, so, you know me I said 2010, 2011, around this, so, you yeah. start get serious with the thing. Yeah. I know, say, yo, I just straight music, you know what I mean? Yeah. See, so as a culture, a straight culture, our, our dance hall vibes, you know, the thing too. Well, I mean, growing up in New York City, I mean, I'm growing up in the streets of New York, Bronx, White Plains Road, Boston Road. You know, I said the, the whole child state is like, you know, like we don't have the luxury of certain things that certain people have in Jamaica. So it's exciting. So, you know, what I mean, so when you hold it as Rasta, you say it's kind of different. So you have to have more strength. Yeah, more time you have to come with more strength to deal with it. I don't know, we're under the pressure. Yeah. Full, full. So, so the thing about 2018, start half nights already. And thing, you know, the thing, acting you know, on fire blaze, the thing, say. Well, so. well, I don't know, for the 2018 right now, the item can look for more big music. And we have to get used to the EP. Yeah. And we have pushed this EP here. Yeah. And the item of us know, say, yo, fire blaze, get used to the video, then. We have crazy video coming. We yeah. got a lot of works, you know, we have some t-shirts, we yeah. have hats, we have wristbands, we have a lot of things that follow. Nice, nice. You know, we yeah. have merchandise. Yeah. So, along with the music, merchandise with the music, yeah. you know, we have to go far. Because they're there in New York. 
You know what I mean? And the artists are more Jamaica because people are saying, oh, the New York artists that man, Ray 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 and them things. What do you feel about that? Because I experience them things with the artists already. I'm not going to get that energy because I'm saying, oh, New York artists, man. Oh, yeah, 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 you know? They are the same thing we have faced over the years still, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, personally, I and I don't feel like there's a barrier with music because music is bigger than what me and you say right now. Right. What you say right now is just people has been con people are trying to control where it's supposed to be. You cannot control yeah, music yeah. by your personal preference. If the music go. Yeah. You know Let's what I'm saying? No matter who in a space it make. Yeah. Once it's a righteous music, let it go. Of course. You must say, but yeah. Also, if remember say it's a business now, so somebody's gonna control the business. Them no one for be the genius like Steven. Them we gonna dunk for no reason. There's a music in a Jamaica right now where the artists are push out. We may take on that. Well, first of all, you know me I say music of different genre genre right now. And you know I say my genre of music is reggae. Dance, uh, happy music, conscious music, uplifting music, fundamental music. We don't deal with disrespect music. The woman are picking me up. No. So, certain music we don't really deal with. But as I say, it's a business now. So, we don't have a problem with nobody that do their business. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we just bring the culture straight up. You know what I mean? I say, Fireplace, I deal with the culture. culture straight. Yeah, yeah, we deal with culture thing. Yeah, man. So it's a black river, you know what I mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ja, ja, ah! Ja, ja, shine his light on me For the whole wide world to see Me find out the chops where they must set for me Me know them wish that for me Ja, ja, shine his light on me For the whole wide world to see I find out the chops what they must set for me. Me know them wish that, yeah. Boom. Fireblaze representing for T Music. Pick up this Black River EP. Boom. In the kitchen again. Yep. Yep. So what do you think look here now? This week, yeah. What may I do? May I change it up totally different. May I do a jerk chicken pollard. Mm -hmm. And we know, know the Caribbean people that might wonder what is jerk chicken pollard? It's yeah. different. So you want know this is where you definitely have to stay tuned and watch your meadow. Chicken breast, nice and thin, and then I'm gonna make a nice arugula salad that's gonna sit right on the top. So you want know we don't want yes, you to get yeah. burning up. So I'm gonna move your side. Right real thing, man. Go check over In the the kitchen. In the kitchen. So here we are right now. Simple. You have your nice chicken breast. And I said all the time, the Jamaican and we used to them, them curry goat and hot steel and all them something. So I'm going to change it up a little bit. We have a nice chicken breast. Nice and clean. Clean them up real nice. Alright. And then, we'll set the chicken. May get the tenderizer. And eat it. Eat it nice and thin. Nice and thin. I'm keeping some of the fat on it. Keeping some of the fat on it because there's a fat that's going to help the bit of the flavor. Eat them nice and thin. Nice and thin. And then I'm going to make a nice arugula salad that's going to go right on the top. Nice and thin. Make it nice paper thin. You see that? Nice. Beautiful. Alright? When you have it nice and thin, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Till them start breathing. Alright, I'm going to a little bit of obey season, a little bit of garlic powder, right, a little bit of salt and pepper, nice, a little bit of salt and pepper, then I'm going to go for my jerk season, rub my jerk season all over, nice, I just want to give him some nice little flavor, I don't want it to be too spicy, because the salad itself is going to be very flavorful, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Get a little bit of virgin olive oil, sprinkle over him. Nice, rub him up. See, nice and thin. Jerk chicken pollard. Something simple and something different. Take my oil, put a little bit of oil on my grill. You're inside my kitchen, so you know I'm not gonna have the skillet, I'm gonna have a nice oil, nice flat top, make it nice and hot. 
Then I'm gonna come over here and take off my chicken. Take off my chicken nice. Flip him over. Take him up, put him on top of the grill. See that? And then I'm gonna open him back up again. Nice. Then I'm gonna let them cook on one side. Nice easy. And then I'm gonna flip them over a little bit. See? Now I'm gonna flip them over now. Nice. That's what I'm looking for. Now we're gonna make our salad. Our salad, some nice fresh arugula. You can use whatever salad you want. You can go with some romaine, you can go with some mixed greens, whatever salad, even some iceberg lettuce, we can go with. I'm gonna go with my champagne vinaigrette, my champagne vinaigrette, as well as you can go with balsamic. You can go with any dressing that you like, but I'm gonna go with some champagne lemon vinaigrette. All right, I'm gonna go right on top of my chicken. Make him look nice and sexy. Look at that. Simple. Look good. Vinaigrette, nicely marinated. Then I'm gonna go with my strawberry. As I said, I'm changing up the game a little bit because you know what? It's not all the time people wanna eat oxtail and curry chicken, even though we love our native dish. Sometimes we wanna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna go with some Crumble goat cheese. Some crumble goat cheese, make him look good. And I'm gonna finish him off with my roasted tomato. Make flavor just bursting out of your mouth all, in all different areas. All you're tasting is just flavor. Flavor from all different directions. Nice finishing touch. All right, what do you know about that? And I'm gonna go with a nice slice of lemon, sit right on the side. This is all we're doing right here inside BB King. Where are they? In the kitchen. Jeff Lindor is a social entrepreneur dedicating the next 25 years of his life to reducing the wealth, knowledge, and achievement gaps across the globe. He is the founder and CEO of Groom Success and the Gentleman's Factory, a private membership club for men of color. We're a gentleman social network that helps men, particularly men of color, sharpen skills, enhance appearance, and connect socially. So we're a one-stop shop for personal and professional development. I you know, was born in Haiti uh, and I grew up in Brooklyn, where, um, and I was always fascinated about like my Caribbean background and also embracing the African-American male experience in this country. And I just saw how society would treat us a little bit differently. Right? Like, why was people of color treated a certain way as opposed to other ethnic groups? So because of that, I always wanted to discover why and discover solutions into how we can help solve the problem. I'm a social entrepreneur today, but um, I was always a community advocate, um, you know, um, someone that was a community organizer and I worked in government, corporate America, and I just had so many different um, experiences that led me up until this point. I was the um, strategic advisor to the executive staff at the Department of Correction. So working with City Hall, working on the reform agenda, really then saw that, you know, why are there so many people of color incarcerated 
are we the only ones that's doing crime, you know? Or, you know, so really, again, having a better understanding of criminal justice, but then having meaningful solutions to help solve the problem. So that's when I, you know, established Groom Success. Didn't really know what it was, but I knew that I needed to create a platform to help highlight positive images of men of color so that we're not deemed on what society thinks of us, but we're creating our own narrative. Words came as easy as they never did, and relaxing my nerves got me enraptured as I tapped into my natural urge in love with everything I was missing. I was in graduate school and I took a social entrepreneurship class where I learned how to build an enterprise off of my passions, right? So I was always passionate about fashion, and you see a mannequin in the background here, right? You know, I mean, the boat sides and the pocket squares, etc. I was always, you know, I'm passionate about looking well. But then I was also passionate about community. So that's why I merged those two worlds together, groom to success, because I just didn't want you to look good, I want you to be good, I wanted it to be substantive. How can groom success be a part of the change that needs to happen in some of these um, urban communities? Well, people operate in life based off of the level of information they obtain. So we want to give information, but in an environment where it is conducive to you or you know where where you're more open to receive it, right? So at our locations, it's a duplex loft. We have the spiral stairs. You know, we have 360 degree views of the city, etc. So it's really providing an experience. And if the customer service and the experience and the culture is right, you're more open to receiving information because we're meeting you where you're at. So our approach is providing experiences and providing great content so that when you obtain this new information or when you obtain this new connection or this contacts, etc., that now you are no longer operating in the way that you would have prior to you coming here. You now have more information, you now have more resources, you're more empowered now to change the world. The Gentleman's Factory, we give you lots of information, lots of resources, and we do a gap analysis. Where are you now? Where are you trying to go? And how can we pull our resources and our content to get you to the next level? Become a member of the Gentleman's Factory today. Join our growing community of change agents, thought leaders, and innovators. Let's learn, grow, connect, and build together. Come chat with me, New York's number one Caribbean lifestyle magazine. Jamaica is a nice place to live. We have everything, the sunshine, the rivers, and the good Ray and Navy rum. Come chat with me. Thanks for watching. Come chat with me. See you next week. Simply Kills.